Sharks are in the class Chondrichthys, the cartilaginous fish. This also includes the skates, rays, and chimeras. Reproduction is important in the cartilaginous fish. It's one of the main distinctions between the skates and the rays, whereas rays tend to give live birth while skates tend to lay eggs. They are a case-selected species, while most fish are R-selected. They don't mass spawn or even reproduce too often. Many sharks have a long gestation period, about nine months to a little over a year. This means that most sharks will reproduce once every two years. Most sharks also take a long time, relative to their lifespan, to reach sexual maturity. The lemon shark lives approximately 25 to 30 years and takes 13 to 15 of those years to reach sexual maturity. That's essentially half their life. Males have two claspers to deposit sperm. These are modified pelvic fins and are analogous to a mammalian penises for mating. The presence or absence of claspers is an easy way to determine a male shark from a female shark. What's incredibly unique to the sharks is that they exhibit all three modes of sexual reproduction, plus they also exhibit asexual reproduction. Most species are oviviparous, which means that they contain eggs internally, which then hatch internally, and then they give live birth. Some are oviviparous, which means they lay eggs, and some rare species are viviparous, which means they give live birth. There has been a documented case of a hammerhead female reproducing asexually via parthenogenesis, which means that an embryo has formed without fertilization. Depending on the species' mode of reproduction, there can be anywhere from 2 to 100 pups born per reproductive cycle. Ovoviviparous species of sharks, such as the sand tiger shark, can be vicious in that in a full litter, only one or two pups will make it out alive. In the womb, once they've hatched, the sharks are starving and ready to eat. With the only available food being their siblings, that's what they are forced to choose. In ovoviparous and viviparous species, once they're born, the pups may have to worry about being eaten by their mother. If the mother is starving, or if the pup gets in the way of the mother, the mother will eat her pups. This is seen especially in hammerhead sharks, who often eat their own species and other sharks. Considering some mothers eat their young, it isn't surprising that sharks don't care for their young after their birth. Sharks will lay their eggs in a secure place, such as a kelp forest or a mangrove, and leave them to hatch on their own. Also, once a shark gives birth, if the mother doesn't devour her young, the shark is immediately on its own. This is unusual, as many case-selected species will additionally nurse their young after birth to ensure their survival. As such, many sharks die within their first year, whether it is from a large carnivorous predator or the inability to find food. So I have extra footage that I wanted to show that I wasn't able to put in the video. I have video footage of two sharks mating. Uh, as you can see, the male shark grabs onto the female shark by biting her on the gills. Um, I also have footage of a great white female. Uh, when she turns, those black markings all up and down her gills uh, are bite marks from another male great white shark. Uh, females have actually adapted into thicker skin to avoid being injured by this, so the whole process of being bit onto doesn't injure them. I also have a pretty neat shot of a great white shark breaching out of the water 